the year is already halfway over. I'm gonna be another year older. Oh my god, Christmas is around the corner! Ah! Hello, and welcome to Bulletproof Art. If you don't already know me, my name's Sam, and I'm addicted to bullet journaling. So, today, we are doing a June plan with me, and I'm super excited about it. Kind of upset that the year's already halfway over, but that's okay because we're prepared with our bullet journals and such, or something like that, I don't know. If you took part in last month's giveaway, go ahead and stay tuned until the end of this video to hear the winner. Hey, guess what? There's a really cool button down below. It's nice and red and uh, shiny and such, so you should push that if you want more journaling inspiration every week. Uh, currently, I'm working two jobs in like 70 plus hours, so my videos are gonna be a little here and there uh, when I can fit them in. So I apologize for that. Bear with me. Stay patient. I love you all. Let's get to this. Before we jump into planning June, I'm gonna do a quick flip through of my May plan and this has been an extremely busy month for me. Um, you'll notice when I flip to my monthly calendar, all of the little yellow flags are when I went to work. So there's a lot of work going on. Um, and so June's plan isn't going to be as elaborate and beautiful. I kind of did a more simplistic, uh, minimalistic style this month. So it's basically just clean cut lines and a little bit of color here and there. I'm not too happy with this video because I didn't film anything, I just took pictures. If you do like this like stop motion type of video, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below, but I don't think I'm going to do a full stop motion video ever again just because I don't like it that well. Um, and I only did three trackers this month. I did my sleep tracker, my mood tracker, and then my expense tracker because I've been keeping track of my habits on my phone with this app called Habitica and it's really fun. I enjoy it and it keeps me on track of my habits. So now I'm just going to do the final flip through and like I said, it's not too fancy. It's really super simple because I didn't really have too much time to put into it and I don't really have much time to keep up with it. I know this wasn't the most amazing video, but I really do hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching until the end. It is my great honor to announce the winner of last month's giveaway. So the winner will receive all of the items that you see here. And the winner for last month was Radio Rebel. She said, my fave is the mood and the productivity tracker, but I also love saying my goals for the month. So congratulations, Radio Rebel. You are the winner of last month's giveaway. If you want to join in this month's giveaway, the winner will receive the items that you see here. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, like this video, and then comment down below and tell me what you do to choose your theme of the month, or like your process for it. How do you come up with your theme? Is it just a random thing? Do you start by picking colors? That's what I do. I start by thinking of like a color theme, and then I Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Peace and love. Stay creative. Signing off.